Hi guys, good morning. And today it's my day two here in Naraku, and uh, we're planning to go to Chapra Falls and the Coffee Museum. So if we have extra time, let's plan for some more places. But for now, the plan is to go to Chapra Falls and uh, Coffee Museum. So we just checked out of the hotel which we are staying. and now we are heading to the uh, bus stop so before which we'll have go grab some breakfast and uh, after that we'll uh, get a bus to chapra falls taxis and autos are also available you can use that option as well so let's go have some breakfast I'm here in the first destination for today which is Chapra Falls that you can see behind me. Just trying to walk carefully because uh, the rocks are very slippery. Chapra is a beautiful water cascade in Arakka Valley situated between the lush green forest So if you can see around me Chapra is famous among the tourists for this natural water slide. I was really tempted seeing the water, but I had severe cold because of which I didn't get into the water. And also, there were no locker rooms for bags or any changing rooms. No problem even if I couldn't do that because there were other things which were equally tempting. But they've added a little too much salt in it. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to come here from Arku. You can take a cab, taxi, or there are public transportation also available. So it costs rupees just 10 rupees in bus. And if you want to take auto from Arku to here, he'll ask you 200 rupees. I think that is little too much. So if you want to have bamboo chicken here, it's available everywhere in Arku, especially near Chapra Falls. You can get. There are n number of people selling bamboo chicken, and it's as authentic as you get in a tribal house. So now we are going to the next destination, which is Coffee Museum. So which is uh, exactly on the right side of Tribal Museum. So this is the Tribal Museum on the right side. So we have to walk for about uh, 100 to 100 meters. One thing which I noticed in this place is like almost every shop here sells biryani, and if you want bamboo biryani, you have to order. and uh, it will take about 1 hour you have to wait around 1 hour to get that biryani prepared so i am here at uh, araku coffee museum and i have met hemant here so who, so how is araku it's nice i visited uh, this is third time okay so what are all the places you visited here in araku uh, chaprai waterfalls and Museum, coffee museum, Padmavati Gardens, Katika waterfalls. That's it. But it's a beautiful destination. 
here in Vizag. So it's called uh, Uti of uh, Andhra Pradesh, right? Yeah. <laughs> and here it's a beautiful location in the Vizag as compared to many other yeah. locations. Okay, thank you. Thank you. A short story about coffee. Once upon a time in Ethiopia, a goat herd noticed that his mild goat started behaving very energetic. When he followed the goats, he found out that his goats were eating some red shiny berry. So he went and told the holy man of that region and he thought these fruits were evil and he burnt it in fire. So it gave good aroma and he immediately took the seeds from the fire and put it in water and he also ended up drinking the water. And he realized that throughout the day he was energetic and that's how humans started consuming coffee. listed some really cool coffee varieties and I ended up trying one of them. We just do what we do, ain't no joke about love, he's the one that I died for. Can't long side by side, can't believe that he is mine. We just do what we do, I first time ever coming to a coffee museum and I thought it would be boring but I was totally wrong. I got so many details about coffee which I never knew till this date. So coming here is a good decision. India produces both Arabica and Robusta. Majority is Arabica coffee and here uh, Arica is special for its coffee because 15% of India's coffee is produced in Arica. First coffee bean which was brought to Arica was from the Nilgiris Tamarnad. It's around 2.30 now. I'm so famished. Just finding a good place to have some food. I think I've tried all the famous food of Arika. All the bamboo chicken, bamboo biryani, normal biryani. So let me try to find something else to eat. Aruku is really a good place to visit. You can spend good two days here, two to three days here. If you are in the weekdays, you will enjoy even more because weekends, as I told, it's very crowded. So while I came here, I came by train. So now um, the train is at 2.30, which I cannot catch. So I thought um, we'll go by bus. I just had my lunch. Actually, we thought of finding some different kind of food, but I Unfortunately, we ended up having biryani once again. Now I'm heading back to the bus stand to get a bus from here to Vizag. So with this, we come to an end of this Araku vlog. Make sure to like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you guys in a new video from a new place. Until then, bye-bye. Subscribe to Vidya Travel Vlogs. <laughs>